Hey everyone, it's Lanzo90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So, I'm just wanting to get us through this villager setting up process. A couple of stone cutters, just one for myself. I'll put it over by the grindstone because that seems to make sense. And that's going to be really nice because that thing is really awesome. <laughs> I didn't know it was so easy to make or I would have made it a long time ago. Uh, put the stone thing in here. Get the barrel and the other stone cutter with us. And did I get these stairs? Oh, I took them out of the town. That's right. Alright. Run back to town. I don't know what a stone cutter villager would even do. I should have paid more attention when I looked at the other towns before, but. I was like really not ready to deal with the villagers at that time, so I didn't even think about it. All right, the barrel could probably go by the seaside, and that would make a lot of sense. Oh, there is another farm up there. I thought there was. I just couldn't remember where it was. I'll put a barrel near the river there. Stone cutter. So you're putting it in this double wide house over here. Go. Those might not have been placed in time for anyone to take them as jobs. Let's go see if anyone took the paperworking jobs. This one. So, like, never a cartog cartographer in there? I wonder if the workstations are in the same room as a bedroom, if they won't do it. I find that odd, but. Possible. No, oh, you're working in here, but you're the guy who's always been here, so. Like, you're unemployed, so why aren't you going to one of these things? I might have to stay in one of these towns until daytime. Next time, because. Are you going to now? Are you going to go be a... Ah. You're now a stone worker. Yes, you are. Play or buy bricks. Now the question is, is that the only thing you can do? If I take this and put it back down, you might go right back to it. So it's going to keep doing the same thing, I guess. Okay. I'm guessing maybe that would be the same for every villager. This guy's beetroot trade is really the best. I think everyone else here is pretty bad. You have the same wheat trade as he does. You guys are trampling your own crops, though. So I kind of have to move these boxes, but... I don't want them to be jumping on their own crops. Let's probably reset the trade. No, oh, he's actually okay. the rest of you are still doing anything, right? Okay. Let's 
trying to decide how I want to handle things here. First things first, we gotta try to fix this road. Kinda of feel like just pathfinding might be a bit of an issue for them. The way I'm gonna to try to do this is work from either end down. Make sure it's not too steep here. I'm just gonna fill this in actually so. I don't know if making things a dirt path actually helps. Well, I guess I can. Oh, I have to wait for grass to grow, I think. Huh. Kind of odd, but. The cat! If we do some fishing, we can get that cat. But... Want the cat! I'll try to do the same thing here. This one's kind of a 3x3. Three three. I don't necessarily know if these messed up roads are what's kind of holding them back, but I figured we might as well try to fix it. I guess this was a 3x3 three three tunnel, too. Huh. Huh. Okay... Huh. It's all very odd. Just trying to fix anything that's, like, extremely bad. Most of the rest of this might be okay enough. Huh. This here is bad. Which is probably why no one's coming down here. Jeez. Okay, I gotta go bring dirt over here. <laughs> A little bit of a bigger fix than I th thought it would be. I'll go ahead and gather this and use it for my own purposes. It's a lot of wheat. I can sell back to the farmers. The more trades we can do, the happier the town will be. Just not useful. You're the one I want to trade with. Hi. That might be better trading with multiple ones. I don't know that for sure, but I'm just thinking maybe they do. One cool feature is if you have something that a villager wants now, if you hold it in your hands, they'll say what they'll give to you for it. Like they're holding up bread and stuff. Which is kind of cool. You don't want to bother with right clicking on them and finding out. We'll head home. Although we just said we should probably stay in town. I'll try to stay in town this time. I'll sleep in one of their beds. Then hopefully in the daytime, with someone who's unemployed, we'll run to one of those librarian spots. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Oh, 
shoot. Took off the feds I was gonna use. Now that we're staying in spawn range of them, hopefully at the start of the day here, like first they start by talking to each other. Then eventually they run off and go do their jobs. Everyone might be employed now actually. Which might be the bigger issue. Six of them now. May take them a bit to decide what they're going to do. They might all be employed now. Golem is just as confused as I am. <laughs> and now they're going off to go do their jobs. Everyone, I think everyone's employed now. Yeah, but I think that cat was the only one who's unemployed, and now he's taking up the mason job. So okay, we just need more people. So that is doable. Probably just have to do. Rather than trying to be cool by placing them in the houses and stuff, I'm probably just gonna have to place like a ton of beds now and throw like a ton of food to them. <laughs> Try to make larger farms for the workers to work at so they can feed themselves a little better. And yeah, we can set up like purpose built villager breeder farms, but I try to like keep things somewhat normal, you know? I don't want things to look really out of place in this world. Like already that cow situation's like, oh, it's a little... it's a little out of control, but at the same time we just... we gotta have that many at least. For now... One thing I think we're due to harvest some kelp. So I think we'll go knock that out real quick. There's also all sorts of tropical fish in here that we could fish. Alright, without any kind of water breathing or anything, slightly annoying to do this, but it is what it is. Actually, there's a dolphin in here. And it gave us a speed boost. Let's head back up. Oh yeah, there's a dolphin in here. <laughs> I'm happy to take the speed bonus. <laughs> Perhaps put a boat on the top of the water just so I can move around a little bit quicker. Is he moving the boat around? Seems like it. I'm 
Yeah, same thing with like the kelp farm and stuff. I can build like purpose built specialty farms to do it. But I'd rather do it in a way that looks somewhat normal. It's funny, it's like playing with the kelp. <laughs> I don't know they do that. Let's build a boat real quick though. It's not going to help us break the kelp at the bottom of the ocean, but it's going to help us uh, collect it up at the top. Oh, it actually changes the material it's made out of. I didn't know that. It looks like pretty awesome, <laughs> at least with this texture pack on. The dark oak boat. Here's what this actually looks like. That's fancy. <laughs> I like that a lot. Alright. Pop back out. Oh, this time I'm not breaking the base because might as well not have to replant things if I don't have to. Right, back up. Now if I get in the boat. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> Done that a long time ago. Hey, collecting kelp doesn't give you XP. This would be like a really awesome XP farm. All right, time for more. I'm smacking fish while I'm doing this. I'm not trying to. Getting a little bit better at doing that fast swim now, too. such a low yield from this to dried kelp blocks though that you really need this much. Up here and get back up. Oh, yep. Probably be enough kelp for now. <laughs> I don't even think most players do this, but I just really like the idea of using the kelp as a fuel source. It's just something about it. Guess I should leave a little bit out here for the dolphin to play with, maybe, but. Okay, that is a ton of kelp. <laughs> I'm gonna need more furnaces. I need more cobblestone here too, see? So yeah. Especially getting kelp from kelp, that seems really... that seems really good. Stone, 
back way. This is going to absolutely stuff this chest. It's the way it's in this all over, but I'm sure I'm not seeing it. And need more chests as well, it seems. It's about night time, though. Get to bed. So what should be our next project here? I want to get these farmers going. You can throw them potatoes, but I think they have to bake them in order to get any use out of the potatoes. Let me check again here. And you can eat just raw potatoes. I want to feed the town so that they're more inclined to increase the population. For now, I guess I'll just build more beds. Which probably means I should go shear the sheep. We should also go feed the cows. Cull the cows. After we give them a little bit of time to finish their breeding. You have to be careful about getting too many cows in one pen. You have to get like a super high amount of them, but you can only have 24 creatures in one space. So if they got like ultra packed, they would uh, start dying <laughs> just because there'd be too many of them in one spot. In low sheep. Yeah. Be taking this wool if you don't mind. Make sure I got it all. Yeah, it was a bunch of chicken eggs, but chicken eggs really don't do much for me. I'm not accidentally stepping on these. Well, stepping on them is fine, but not a. Uh, Jumping on them is the one we want to avoid. Let's throw more of that away. And I'll make a bunch more beds. Maybe I'll build like some kind of apartment building or something. <laughs> uh, I wish I could have stacked these up. I'll just go do that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, for now, actually, I think we should put the beds away. Because like I said, yeah, I can just throw them on the ground out there and that would be fine. But I would rather build something cool. Let's build a couple of extra tools here. A new pickaxe. A new sword. Yes, I pronounced it incorrectly on purpose. On corpus, even. Now I have a couple of options. Go check out this cave over here. I did not know there was a lava pit there. Actually, kind of good to have a, a 
pit so close by. Oh, this is a cavern. I didn't know this was actually a cavern. Is it the end of the cavern, too? Actually is. Well, that changes things. <laughs> like, that's a really quick access to the base of the map here. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking. So we grab our bucket. Back over this way. Grab ourselves a source of water. And... Sploosh it. Trying to get a view of it without falling to my death. So that gives us a way down that's relatively fast and uh, not painful. And a way up that's relatively slow, but stable. And then from there, I think I'll just build like a ton of ladders to build a fast way up. Once we get closer to end game, we can actually build like extra fast ways in and out. But we're not anywhere close to that right now. Actually, no, we need diamonds at least. Because I could get to the nether really quickly by just making some obsidian with that lava there. I don't have a way to mine the obsidian yet. And then I could get soul sand, and that gives you a quick way up and down. Or it gives you a quick way up. And then down you can just jump into a pile of water. Alright, let's build some ladders. Build some more planks. It's okay, I have a ton of this log. <laughs> Actually, I didn't even need to do that. <laughs> I just remembered that ladders only take, uh... Only take sticks. I get them and fences confused all the time. That's okay. Four is enough. Also, I don't know if 27 is enough, but it'll certainly be closer. Doing this without falling to my death might be a little tricky. I guess I could work from the bottom up. That'd also make me worry a little bit about getting back up in time before sundown. Also, doing this near the sand is a little bit tricky because I don't. Risky, because I don't know if the sand is just... Eh, eh, it's free-floating, so I could have collapsed under my feet and killed me. Yeah, let's wait till... tomorrow to do this. It's not, like, super close to nighttime, but... If I get into trouble down there... I might not be able to get it done quickly enough. That's okay. I wish we had a freaking saddle for this horse. <laughs> we'll get one, I'm sure, but... These are close to done. I wonder, will you stay as polished? You will. Okay, so I can take this and I can try to make something better out of it now that we have the actual cutting device. I didn't have this last time. Make slabs out of you, I guess that would save a little bit more space, but it wasn't really what I was hoping for. And you can't make anything out of smooth stone, huh? Well, I guess we can make like... Four of these? And 
now the tub would at least have a a bottom to it. perfect still because it's not an infinite water source, but that's okay. Finish that off later. We're almost to level 30, which is a good place to get to. In fact, we should see, like, can we build an enchanting table already? No. We have anything cool that we can build yet? I'm guessing that we probably need a redstone, redstone and or lapis lazuli to make a. An enchanting table. Better here as we can. There you go. Alright, but we're all out of time for this episode. If you enjoyed, remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.